any rebellion. Jesus of Nazareth, you are charged with blasphemy. Tell us, are you the Son of God? I am. Son of God is available to rent or own now, two weeks before Netflix or Redbox. Plus, check out the extended free preview before you order. Lone Survivor tells the remarkable true story of a team of Navy SEALs who...
enough. I think I might be on my way. I just um, got my own TV show. It's called All American Girl. And it's very... <laughs> agree on that name. You know, I wanted to be called the Margaret Cho Show because I'm such a fucking egomaniac <laughs> that I couldn't have it any other way. And they had their own suggestions. Um, East meets West. Walk on the wild side. W-O-K, walk. So I had a huge tantrum and said, fuck you, we're going to call it Chinkies. She would totally suck. <laughs> like, she could never do promos, you know. Hey, Scotty, I'm a home improvement! <laughs> she just sounded crazy, so. So I'm really excited about it. I'm gearing up to do this whole thing on a diet. I've been on a diet for a long time. I, I initially went on it because I was in Tampa, Florida at the airport, and I was staying there. And an old man walks over to me and he says, Excuse me, but are you Japanese? No, I'm Korean. Oh, really? That's very interesting because I was looking at you and I knew that you were not Filipino. I have many Filipino friends and you do not look Filipino because you're very husky. people believe they can be completely honest with me, and I fucking hate that. <laughs> I was working at a school in Florida, and the hospitality guy came to pick me up at the airport. Really nice guy. We're talking in his car, and he says, You know, you're my favorite comedian because you look exactly like my sister. I said, Oh, really? Do you have a picture? And he showed it to me, and she was so ugly. <laughs> Definitely 
place better. But I could not stop hearing that word for days afterwards. Zoptic. Everywhere I went, Zoptic, Zoptic, Zoptic. Even restaurants. Would you like something to start? A Zoptic, perhaps? A what? A soft drink. His name is Vinny. He sounds like his name is Vinny. He comes over and he's like, All right, okay, now we're gonna do lunches. Let's go. One, two, three. Oh, well, I'll count. I'll start over. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's go. But you know, he was telling me that I really don't have a fat body. And I know, I don't have a fat body. I just have a really big head. <laughs> and I don't know how I'm gonna lose weight in my head. What kind of crunches do I have to do? <laughs> Big heads are good for some things, though. Like uh, television commercials, which normally I don't really think I'm right for. Like, I could never sell douche because I do not look fresh at all. I... <laughs> I'm the anti-fresh. I hate those commercials. Anyway, I got so mad one day because I was watching TV and in the morning I saw this woman and she was in a Monostat 7 commercial, and that same day I saw the same woman in an Always Maxi Pad commercial, and I'm like, look honey, I know way too much about your vagina. <laughs> Actually, I'm not really allowed to say the word vagina because I don't even use mine, so... Does anybody want it? You can put like books in it or something. I don't know. Use it like a planter. Uh, it's got an equalizer. I, I have not had sex in almost two years. And I think once you hit two years, you automatically get your virginity back. You get to start over. And I'm about to. What is wrong with me? I don't understand. trick somebody into doing it. Use trickery. I'm gonna have to cover with leaves and hope somebody falls in.
show business, does drugs. She's like, oh, you cannot go to the club because they take the drugs. <laughs> the people they take the cocaine. <laughs> and then they take the D, what is it? The D, the L, the D, the D. Mom, it's LSD. How do you know that? with blind intersections. She will sit there for a very long time and rant. They never will give you a chance! <laughs> so since I was about 10 years old, almost all of my friends have been gay men. And uh, my mother would give me phone messages from them when they would call me when I lived at home. Um, Scott called. Is he the gay? <laughs> well, God, Mom, I don't know if he's the gay. That's a lot of pressure to be the gay. All of that resting on one guy. He has to do the parade all by himself. I'm here. I'm queer. I guess I'm the only one. My parents are very conservative, but surprisingly gay positive. In the late 70s, we owned a bookstore in San Francisco on Polk Street, which then was a huge gay mecca. And my mother, for some reason, was in charge of the gay pornography section. So every day she'd walk over there. I don't know why we had this book. What I idea what an ass master is. Is it like a thigh master? I don't know, is it a master of the ass? What is that master? The most harrowing experience I ever had with my mother was one time I to go see this movie with my friends, and she would not let me go with my friends. She had to come with me. So I had to go see The Wall with my mom. <laughs> Halfway through the movie, somebody actually passed her a joint. <laughs> what is this? I don't smoke. I don't know why they give this to me. That's so... I... I... <laughs>
need to keep a list on the board of who is going to burn. We did nice things in Sunday school, like we used to send money to underprivileged children overseas, which is a great cause, but sometimes I couldn't help but feel emotionally manipulated by some of the literature they send us, so we'd send them more money. Just outrageous accounts of these poor children. Lu Chen lives in a village with her 35,000 brothers and sisters. They live in a cardboard box. Here she tells a tragic story of the poverty that she must endure every day.
tape so you can hear, hear my mother screaming at me. Come on, Alina. We will be listening to this music forever. In 50 years, we'll all be in some senior citizen center somewhere going, Oh, put on Hungry Like the Wolf again. <laughs> and a terrible racial incident happened recently in uh, Manhattan, of all places. It was with a friend of mine, Japanese comic named Kevin Kanahoka, a really great guy. And we're walking down the street, and a group of teenagers ran up to us and started screaming, Fucking Chino's ruin everything! And uh, we weren't really upset at first because we weren't sure whether they were talking about us or the pants. Because <laughs> they could be either really racist or really fashion conscious, you know. We don't know. I was staying at a little bed and breakfast in Michigan and uh, they had a kitchen that I could use, and I was really excited because I never get to cook my own meals. So I went and bought all this food, and I brought it back, and I asked the woman there if she had anything I could cook with it. She says, oh, yeah. Do you need a walk? <laughs> uh, yeah, and some thousand-year-old eggs if you've got them. <laughs> you stupid bitch. What do I look like? <laughs> Martin fucking yeah. is the biggest disadvantage to being Asian in America, but if I were to choose, I think the biggest advantage to being Asian in America is that if you're at an airport or a bar or something and somebody comes up and talks to you and you don't want to talk to them, you can just pretend you don't speak English. Oh no, I don't know. 